We're exploring the Paint Arts Center and Gardens. Emily Dean joins us from Oshkosh with more. Hi, Em. Pete, thank you so much for the beautiful sun this morning. Sheila Glasky and I are outside enjoying the weather, but enjoying what Mother Nature is blooming and budding to, right, Sheila? It's That's just right. gorgeous. So we're out here at the gardens at the Payne, but when you drive by, you usually see the mansion out front. We have some video we shot a little bit earlier this morning that is absolutely gorgeous. How many tulips are up front that people can see? Well, when driving by, you can see about 5,000. We plant about 8,000 tulips, and so in the front, there's about 5,000. And so they're all in full bloom right now, and they're beautiful. The colors are amazing, especially in front. And so people, you know, see that. They see the mansion, but sometimes they might not realize you can head back because you have these awesome gardens as well. We do. We have about three and a half acres of gardens that people aren't familiar with because we have these walls that surround the property. But three and a half acres of gardens and a lot of display gardens. We have over 70 containers in the summer and we switch out our annual beds um, every year so you can see something different every year. And um, lots of things in blooms. We have a magnolia that are in bloom right now and we have about eight or nine different kinds of magnolia trees. Yeah. I mean beautiful tulips here as well. I mean no matter where you go the vibrant colors are just showing it makes you feel good doesn't it? Yeah it's <laughs> nice to see all the color for sure after a long winter. Oh yes. Um, so this weekend you have something special coming up and we have a few plants um, on this bench with us. So why don't you tell me about the festival of spring and what you're actually going to be selling from in here. Yeah, we have a big event uh, coming up this Saturday called the Festival of Spring. It runs um, from 8 to 4. Our plant sale starts at 9. And these are just some of the things that we're going to be selling at the plant sale. These are actual plants that we dug up from the pain and we're going to be selling at the plant sale. Can I tell you a little bit? Yeah, about? go ahead. Okay, so we have a little May apple and people ask about this all the time because it's just so unusual. It comes up kind of like an umbrella and it has um, a little flower if you see right here. Mm -hmm. And this is why it's called a May apple is because it, after it gets done, gets done flowering there's like a apple like nugget that <laughs> sits right there so really interesting fun you see in the spring of the year it actually dies down midsummer another plant that um, we have here and we actually have a whole garden of these and when you're walking down the path you see this beautiful purple blue this is uh, Virginia bluebells it's actually native to Wisconsin and it actually comes up and blooms like this it dies down to the ground so it's one of those plants that if you have an area that you want a plant that kind of spreads and be beautiful in the spring it's definitely a choice that you might choose and Sheila this one just really quick oh this is a lycoris surprise lily it looks like a daffodil but then it dies down in the summer in the spring and then comes up in midsummer just the flower. Well, go to our website for all the information on the Payne Arts Center and Gardens and you can see what time they're open and more about the festival. We'll send it back to you. Okay, thanks, Em. See ya.